Good afternoon, Pueblo Academy of Arts. Hi, I'm Cameron. And I'm Amy. And, and this, this is your Phoenix, Phoenix Vision News for May 6th. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. We will be selling $1 choices for your choice of tire furniture. Three names a week will be drawn until school is out. Get your tickets at all three lunches. There is a piano recital next Wednesday, the 15th at 7 p.m. The musical theater performance is next Thursday, the 16th at 7 p.m. On May 8th, come and get your grub on at Buffalo Wild Wings for a fundraiser for our school. Student Council members, no, meetings will not be held every Thursday, 4.30 to 5.30. Let's see what's up with this week's sports. Thank you, Cameron and Amy. Hi, I'm Naya. And I'm Rosa. And, and this, this is Phoenix Vision, Vision sports. sports. Jack has our city county meet tomorrow at 4.30. Here are the qualifiers for this meet. Make sure to come and support your fellow Phoenix. Jack also has a track party May 14th. Now for soccer. JV and Varsity both had a game Saturday, and they both played Skyview. Good, great job to both track and soccer. Keep working hard. Now let's check in with our Athlete of the Week. I'm Haley with Phoenix Sports, and our Athlete of the Week is Victor. So how long have you been playing, and who inspired you? I've been playing soccer for about five years now, and no one really inspired me, and yeah. <laughs> That's good. What's your opinion on the team? My opinion on the team is we're, we're really good, and we're number four, I think at least, and we have really good people on our team. We have good defense, and we have a good goalie. That's good. What's your favorite part about the season? My favorite part of the season was when I scored a goal. <laughs> nice. Keep up the good work. Yeah, back to you, Naya and Marissa. Thank you, Victor. Keep working hard. That's it for this week. I'm Naya. And I'm Marissa. Go, Go Phoenix, Phoenix. Fight hard, hard and let's bring home the wins. wins. Now let's see what's up with this week's weather. Thank you, Naya and Marissa. Hello, everybody. I'm Paul with your Phoenix weather report for this week. But first, your weekly weather joke. How are freezing rain and cake icing the same? Both are a glaze. <laughs> and now it's time for the weather. The day comes in with a high of 80 and a low 48 with a stray afternoon tea shower. Tuesday comes in with a high of 66 and a low 44 and it'll have little rain and it'll be colder. Wednesday there will be a high of 58 and a low of 36 and it'll be cloudy with showers early. We finish up the week on Thursday with a high of 50 and a low of 36 and it'll be colder with th uh, clouds and thunderstorm. It'll be an okay week, so stay safe and have fun. And as always, you can check our Twitter every morning for an updated weather report. Now let's go see what's going on with Angelica and Molly with the Rise of the Phoenix. Thank you, Paul. Good afternoon, Phoenix. I'm Angelica. And I'm Molly. And, and this, this is the Rise of the Phoenix. Phoenix. Musical Theater has a performance on May 16th at 7 p.m. in the Phoenix Auditorium. Make sure to go support your fellow Phoenix. Let's go over to Colby with this week's Rising Phoenix of the Week. Hi guys, I'm Colby here with our Phoenix of the Week, Layla, asking her a few questions. So, what is your favorite thing about PAA? The teachers, they're here to help and kind and respectful. Yeah, it's a good answer. Um, next question, uh, what is your goal for this semester? To get a 3.5 or higher. Alright, nice. Uh, so, final question, how do you rise? Focusing in class and hard work. All right, good. So thank you, and back to you, Angelica and Molly. Thank you, Colby, and keep on rising, Layla. Now we have a special announcement from our My Life program. Thank you to all Phoenix students and staff for supporting the My Life fundraiser. Due to everyone's generous support, we collected over $700 of Copper Silver Week, and with the spring shirts total, we have $802.99. Our Copper Silver Week fundraiser was a huge success. This money will go a long way to provide food, clothing, and medical assistance to migrant families in the Pueblo community. And now, for, and now for the moment you all have been waiting for. The winner of Copper Silver Week is... 8th grade. grade! Ice cream for 8th grade at Monday's lunch. And we have to give a huge shout out to Ms. Salzer in advanced classes for calculating the winners. Also, a big thanks to everyone. Thank you, my life. Remember, students, when you get off the bus, you get away from the bus drop-off area. We do not want you gathering around the bus drop-off. And remember to get home right after school. This is a safety concern. Roxy Rodriguez was selected as the middle school winner of Pueblo City County Library's annual poetry contest. An assembly honoring the winners will be held Wednesday, May 15th at 7 p.m. at the Rawlings Library. Congratulations, Roxy. Keep working hard. For Angelica, I'm Molly, and this has been the Rise of the Phoenix. And back to you, Cam and Amy. Thank you, Angelica and Molly. And now it's time to go over to Justin on the Street. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Justin on the Street. I'm your host, Justin. And today I'm gonna be playing Pictionary with Javi and Taylor. Draw uh, an elephant. All right. Well, all right. So it has its head. Oh, it doesn't really talk about it. <laughs> it's Clifford. <laughs> no. 
Um, what's that one? What's that one guy's name? Wait, is it like a name or? Um, it's an elephant. Yeah, but it's like, an elephant, yeah. oh yeah. All right, Justin, you are co able to come back. Here's your microphone. Oh, hey, we have Cameron now. What's up, Cameron? Yo. Yeah. A tree. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Be quiet over there. Flamingo. Okay. All right, Kevin, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a chicken? <laughs> Is it a duck? No. <laughs> Is it the duck that goes to lemonade stand? <laughs> There's the wing. What the heck? It's literally a duck. No, it's literally not a duck. Is it a pigeon? You oh. <laughs> missed a really big hit on that. What? Oh! A flamingo? Don't into the mic. A flamingo? Yes. Oh, I did not get that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Chewing your gum. <laughs> <laughs> an egg. Is it an egg? He got it. What the heck? I'm not a lizard. You know, doing my warm ups, you know? Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, so, you got the. I lied. No. You, know, you got this, you know? A flower. Mm. No, that it looks like. Oh, um, that's, that's the head, right? That looks like Mordecai from, uh. Carter, what's that one? That's the, bo that's the body, right? <laughs> that looks like Mordecai from, what's that show, regular show? Oh my god. Got the other one. Come on, you got it. You see it every day. It's a pigeon. No. A bird that has a tail? Yeah. yeah. It's on flames, you know? <laughs> There's so much, like, happening. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Fire, you know? Okay, right, just think of the fire all around it. Oh, uh, okay. It's like. It looks like, uh, it's Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Just on the Street. Just on the Street, I'm Justin. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Justin. Now to Weekly Obsessions with Haley. Good afternoon, Phoenix, and welcome back to my Weekly Obsessions. This week's obsessions are the song Going Bad, Quote of the Week, and Awkward Communication. The song Going Bad is number 16 on the top 100 Billboard charts. It's by Meek Mill featuring Drake. I got more snaps than a Beatles. Beatles. Point. On. The next obsession is the quote of the week. The quote of the week is, The struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. This quote means that even if you fail today, come back stronger tomorrow. The last obsession is awkward communication. Thank you for watching my weekly obsessions. Now back to you, Cameron and Amy. Thank you, Haley. Let's see what's snacking with Sarah. Hi, welcome to Snacking with Sarah. I'm Sarah Matthew, and today I'll be bringing you your lunch menu for this week. Hope you enjoy the pepperoni pizza today. Tomorrow we'll be having French toast sticks and sausage patty, and spicy chicken sandwich, Mr. Ariaga's favorite. Wednesday we'll be having macaroni and cheese. Thursday we'll be having pizza. Next Monday we'll be having pizza once again. On Wednesday, Thursday, and next Monday, we'll also have the option of pepperoni and cheese pizza, again. The Fresh Express Bar will be open every day as well. And remember, please keep the garden bar clean at all times. Now back to you, Cameron and Amy. Thank you, Sarah. Sounds delicious. With Phoenix Vision, I'm Amy. And I'm Cameron. Have, have a fabulous, fabulous, wild, and wonderful week.
Look at me, I keep it fresh like a breeze. I was showing up so.